guys, welcome back to another video. And this video is on something that I was doing a teaser for, and it is this. It is uh, it's pretty much an Memvia MF 400 fire, conventional fire panel. Um, I don't know who rebranded this, uh, so that's just the model number. Uh, no branding, it's, it's similar. It, well, it's got the controls of the MF 400, but some of the controls are a bit like swapped or wrong way around and the label's different. I don't know who I, I don't know who makes this anymore. I mean or who rebranded this. But this is it. <clears throat> and connected to it I have um this crime for control sounder. It was a different sounder. Don't know where about to disappear to but I wanted to swap it out for this one because it's a bit quieter especially with the tissue on. Uh and then we've also got an old style K C here. Which is nice. So there it is, and uh, there's the test key for it. Um, before we set it off, I'll uh, show you inside the panel. So here it is, that's the inside. So you've got your uh, detection zones or circuits, uh, call point circuits, whatever. Uh, that's your mains terminal, although I've hacked this a bit, in a way. Then you've got your sounder circuit there, class change thing, and then auxiliary relay thing. So, interestingly, there is a 24 supply, volt supply thing on here. Don't know what that would be for, but... <clears throat> and we've got your lights. Uh, one, zone 1 and 2, I've got EOLs, whereas the, there's one of them newer, the ELM1. And there's all your buttons. There's your battery connector, which what I've done is I've connected a um, battery uh, uh, plug, 12 volt plug, for some reason. I don't know why I didn't just wire that. just got bored, thought I'd do something different. Um, and then that just goes up to a plug over there. <laughs> it's a demo, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, so, yeah, let me just uh, put, the lid, put the lid back on and then we'll start the video. Well, we'll start the testing. Bit fiddly. <laughs> that on. Yeah, that's on. Right, so let's uh what should I do? Uh let's do um cool point test. So this is on BS Suite by the way, to match the older sound that I used. Um, so here we go. Three, two, one. Oh no, this key is a bit funny. Three, two, three. There we go. So my glass is on an angle. Right. You can't change the code. The... So it's. It does that irritating, like when, when it's accessed, it does that irritating beep that it does on like the JSP FireDex panels, which I kind of find irritating, but oh well, it doesn't really matter. So the default code, uh, user code is 3112, and you can't change that. I don't think you can change the other code here, but there's another code which I need to remember. Uh, anyway. Um, and the other annoying thing is, you have to take code in again to reset it. So you have to do 3112, and then this, that was evacuate. <laughs> Uh, do reset. <laughs> it does a cool reset thing. So three, one, one, two, and then two. It does this thing where it just lights the LEDs. It does all that, which is I think is quite cool. Fault because I've got a few faults on it. Um, yeah. So I've got a power fault because no twenty-four volt thing. Sound fault because no end of lines in the sounder terminals and same no end of lines in the zone four. And three, three and four. Um, so you can evacuate as I demonstrated in the next. So you just do that. But interestingly, when you do silence, it also resets, which I find quite cool. Shut up. Yeah. Um, to get 
uh, you can enable and disable zones and uh, using the uh, user code. And to get, if I can remember correctly, to get into supervisor mode or test mode, and then not one. I don't know if it does all zones. Or... Right, so it's in test now. So what I'm going to do is just uh, do the test uh, call pointing on. set the panel it doesn't clear the test thing oh no it does my, my bad yeah that's it <laughs> I, I don't know why I thought it didn't yeah you know what I'm gonna do because I've got some spare kg glass around somewhere Let's just break the glass in the cool point for like the finishing thing. So three, two, one. Okay, and now uh, if I reset that, that's gonna go back into fire. I think. What else if I do? I think it will. Let's try it out anyway. Let's have a look. The buzzer sounds a bit funny unless I know. Gonna work. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Took a little bit of time now to uh, realise that it was back in fire. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I think this panel is decent. It's good. I mean, the only thing I don't really like about it is um, that's it. When you try and reset it, it doesn't. Well, no, when, when you're in access mode, it does that irritating beep thing. Well, most panels, they beep every, like, four, uh, uh, ten seconds for any time, really. And then they cancel that after, like, ten minutes. But this panel has to be irritating. Um, and also, it can't... Like, I was going to try and have this Apollo Series 20 on it, but apparently the voltage is not good enough, because you need, like, 12 or 24... Uh, 12 volts, this thing is like... This thing's like alarm sense needs a different voltage to work on a panel shame really but yeah so that's it thanks for watching please comment like and subscribe